Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's me Shady here, and today we're going to be talking about my first day back to school and how that was and a walk through my day, give you a little bit of insight into my life. But first, before we get into that, I want to talk about an NFL playoff challenge that's been happening on NFL.com right now. Basically, the playoff fantasy challenge, or if you want to call it like an NFL playoff fantasy challenge, I think it's under the fantasy tab. So if you want to go to NFL.com, after watching this video, go to NFL.com, uh, create an account if you don't have one, if you already have one, sign in. And basically, you can join my group, which I'll tell you the name later. It is, actually, I'll tell you it now. It's called Playoffs Challenge Squad, and I'll put it in the description and in the comment below. And the password to it is Playoffs, with an S at the end, plural. I'll put that in the comments in the description, too. So if you want to join, you can. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically um, fantasy football for the playoffs. You get to pick a squad, uh, a team of players that are in the playoffs. So basically, my lineup, I think you have... I know you have one quarterback, two running backs, uh, two wide receivers, I think one tight end, a defense, and then a kicker. Basically how it works is you pick your players one week, and if they win, those players drop down, and you can play them again or place them new players, but the longer you keep your player in, the more points they add, so if they win in the wild card round, you go to the divisional round, and they'll earn two times the score. So basically, let's say you want to pick Cam Newton. He's not playing the wild card round, but you can still get him then. He's gonna earn you zero points the wild card round, but he's gonna earn you two times the score in the divisional round. Or if you want to go Russell Wilson in the first round and then Cam Newton in the second round, then Cam Newton just will you score you like one times the score, just whatever his score is, it'll be multiple you can multiply by anything. So if you want to check that out, interested in that, um, I'll put the name and password to my group in the description and comments. No one joins, oh well, I'm still gonna play if someone if people join, that's great, wonderful, fantastic. I'll have some fun competing and just gonna let us let us get right into the video. Or right into what this video is about, and that is my day back to school. So this semester I have honors chemistry, first block. Second block we have accelerated geometry, chord and algebra. I don't even know what it's called. Algebra 2, I don't I don't even know. Third block, on A days, we have an A B schedule and that is this where I have a class every other day. And every other day for the entire year and that class stays with me instead of all years that we can switch at the end of the semester and uh, eight days i have honors literature and on b days i have ap psychology then fourth block we have business law or legal environment of business whatever you want to call it so i'm just going to take you through my day i want you guys to know how it was so first off get in the car kind of cold outside not really i think it was like 34 degrees I wasn't that cold, everyone was dressed up like it was snowing outside, and it, it wasn't even below freezing, so, I mean, I went in a light sweatshirt and shorts, and I was perfectly fine, and, um, yeah, everyone was dressed up like it was freezing, and I got to school, and, uh, yeah, that's basically what I saw everywhere throughout the hallways, everyone dressed up, I'm like, come on, guys, come on, that is not, it is not that cold outside right now, and, um, so I walked into my advisement, Advisement is like a homeroom, if you know what that is, if you have a homeroom in your high school. So, that's pretty, honestly pretty boring. So, not really much happened there. Um, I keep losing my train of thought, sorry guys, not really much happened there. So, moving on to first block, we have our chemistry, and I have a decent amount of friends in that class. We got my, I got like five. I have at least five people that I'm like really good friends with in that class, and then some of the people I know, I kind of know, and then a few acquaintances and stuff like that, so that class is going to be pretty fun. The teacher is absolutely hilarious. I told a story today, and I have never laughed so hard at a teacher in my entire life. It was the funniest thing I have ever heard a teacher say. Like, I literally died laughing, pretty much. That they had to get like the CPR thing out, and like chest to chest on me, to get me to to get me to come back alive like that's how dead I was from laughing so hard so yeah that class can be pretty fun it's kind of challenging I, I think it's gonna be kind of challenging at least but let's move on to the second block we get right to accelerated algebra 2 whatever it's called I don't even know I could pull out my schedule but I'm not so, yeah, too lazy um, and then in that class I figured I would know nobody going into it and I was exactly right I knew absolutely nobody in that class everyone I was everyone that was in that class I am either like acquaintances with or don't really know like we kind of talked a little bit through our past 
in school never I went to the outside of school just kind of in school and classes never really like furthered our friendship much so I'm kind of screwed in that class luckily my friend told me there's not a lot of group stuff in that class so I don't really need to rely on people as much thankfully I do have like a few people I could work with if I had to in that class but it's not ideal because I'm not intimately good friends with anyone so I would not feel exactly then we are going to move on to third blog, which has honors literature. That all right, so now we get into that third blog, honors lit. And I walk in, I already know everyone in that class. It's a pretty small class, it's like 14 kids in the class. So, you know, thank God, I can also chill out for a little bit. I can talk to my friends that I know and I've known for a long time. And it was kind of like a sigh of relief after that second block, if you know what I'm saying. It, the second block was pretty much a drag. Math was honestly so boring. I, today and yesterday, I fell asleep. Or not fell asleep, I almost fell asleep so many times. I'm just a non-stop yawner in that class. I literally just can't control it. But yeah, honors it was a nice break. All we did was like get some papers and like start reading the first like 17 pages of the book. I don't even know. I haven't read all of them yet. I'll probably read them to the next step of that class tomorrow. But yeah, so that was honors lit in pretty much a nutshell. It's also the class I had lunch in. And oh yeah, quick note on my lunch. I sipped it with all the girls at my AP lunch. Evan, my friend Evan Rafid's point was like, that is too many hormones for me, bro. I cannot sit with you. And I was like, all right, I see how that is. But yeah, there are a lot of females at my lunch table. I guess that's good because I'm the only male, but like, it feels weird to me being the only guy there. But like, I think there's three, six, nine, like nine at my table. And I'm just, I just feel out of place, honestly, because I have no clue what they're saying. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to fourth block, which would be Physical's Law. In that class, I have my friend Sister, who I'm pretty good friends with. And I have some kid in my business class last year. Um, I don't, I, I kind of like that kid. I mean, he, he's not my greatest friend. I, I, I just kind of made friends with him because I had to last year and then showed your business. But now that he's back in this class, I guess I have to be friends with him again. So I got some money and I got some help. So I also sent my friend's sister. But yeah, that is pretty much my day in the afternoon. I wrote home with my friend again. I had homework on the first day for math too. Like honestly, really. 20, 25 questions, I think it was 24, 25 questions of homework on the first day of school. Really, really, I, I was just so blown by that. And also, I was like, college test on Friday, like, come on, man. Friday, first week back, you're giving me a test that week. That's, that's not cool. But, um, I'm trying to think of anything else that happened this day. I don't think there's anything else interesting that really happened. I kind of just took you guys through my day. Um, that pretty much wraps up what I want to talk about. I can do a quick recap. Um, we have first block, honors chemistry. Know a lot from that class. That class is going to be really, 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 really fun. Like a little bit challenging at times, but um, the whole atmosphere I think will be really, really fun and interesting. And I'll just probably have a good time. It's going to be a great, great way for me to start my day compared to last semester where I had honors geography with a teacher that I hate so much. And we move into math, which is kind of like a bummer. It's kind of like this, yeah biggest bummer of my day like I just sigh thinking about that class honestly that mental sigh going on it is it is such a drag I mean the only positive about it is the teacher likes me from, from freshman year so I can just do whatever I want I, I, yeah I can pretty much just do whatever I want that's what I did freshman year so I guess that's a plus but I just don't know anyone in that class and it is just it's just it's just out there man I don't I mean I don't mind sticking to myself but I don't want to if I don't have to so I guess I'm not to make some friends because I'm my comfort zone you know what I'm saying like just get out there make some friends and maybe, who knows maybe maybe one of them become a really good friend of mine who knows probably not I don't really enjoy the kids in that class anyway so I might not try that hard to make friends third block honors lit and that or psych easy stuff as it's always been honor psych's not really easy or honor psych Jesus Christ AP psych's not really easy but it's the same thing it's always been so you know I'm probably just gonna roll with that and keep going and keep trying I have pretty good grade in that class right now so I'm probably just gonna try to maintain that and yeah 
of just finish out with that and get a degree on the AP exam and let that, I don't even know what to say, let that be that, I guess, for this law. I think it'll be in, I think that class will be interesting. The teacher said it's going to be really boring because his first level class and his third level class are really hands-on. His third level class deals with our school store. And the first level class has a lot of projects. His third level class, the second level class, has just stuff basically it's just straight out of the textbook cut and dry and that's it i mean one cool thing he does he said he's going to give us our quizzes and tests before he actually gives them to us as a grade that he's going to give it give it to us exactly for review he's like hey what are you doing by me giving you the quiz before i actually give you the quiz for a grade you're memorizing it so it's being put in your memory and you're going to learn it that way i don't really care how you learn honestly but this is the way it that people learn that is to memorize stuff. Now, you're not you're not gonna be able to memorize the order because I'm gonna mix up the order and the wording, but I'm gonna give you the quiz and test guys. I mean if you wanna use it you can use it. I mean I'm gonna give you guys the answers to it post them in our little Google classroom thing. I thought that was pretty cool of him to do. So yeah I think that class will be interesting but especially when we get to contracts. Contracts are kind of like core my interest right now so that seems like the mid the mid part of the like the middle of the class. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how my day went, guys. I guess that's pretty much it for the video, so I'll go ahead and give you guys a little outro. Alright, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, no matter if you're new or not, make sure to drop a like on this video, comment all your thoughts and opinions down below, and thank you guys again for watching the video. This has been Shady, and Shady.